Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Lux here in the mid lane. Your best runes are gonna be Arcane Comet with Mana Flow, Transcendent, Scorch with Presence of Mind and Coup de Grasse. For your items, you're gonna wanna rush down Ludens into Cosmic Drive. And then finally, you're gonna wanna get Shadow Flame into Rabadon. You can even pick up Hourglass. You wanna start E level one. You're usually looking to be aggressive level one against most champions because they can't all in you and you want to try to get some poke down on them so when she steps up for that minion she's gonna she's gonna eat it a little bit at least that's the plan we lost one minion that's all right i'm saving my e to hit her she's lost more minions than we have all right we've completely whiffed our e there that's a shame it's easiest to land your E when they go into last hit a minion. Just like that. That's when it's going to be easiest. It's been kind of hard thus far because she hasn't really been going in for minions. We're going to pelt her down with auto since she's a melee champion against range champs. I don't necessarily want to go in for an auto if... Ooh, I was trying to weave it through that minion. Your Q can hit two targets. So I didn't think she was going to react to that. I want to get that minion we still get that auto on her whenever you hit them with an ability it puts your light on them in your next auto chunks that's the whole idea is to hit them with ease and then autos and you don't usually want to rock you i just wanted to test to see if she uh, is going to respect it going through the minion got her right through the minion people a lot of the times they just don't respect it or they don't think about it Especially a lot of the time if you're just going in for E and the autos on them. Your E is a massive slow. That's why it's easy to follow up with an auto afterwards. And your E has a really big hitbox and a very fast travel time to where as long as you center your E over them, realistically, it's not going to miss them. Now that can be easier. That's harder said than done if they haven't made their direction known if they're going to last hit, poke or whatever. So you usually wait till they go in for a last hit or until they're up against a wall, something like that. But if you have zero pressure on them, oftentimes you wanna hold on to your abilities altogether, particularly in uh, situations, like I said, if you have no pressure. Pressure can be, like, once again, if they go to last hit a minion, pressure can be if they're within your auto attack range, you can pressure them with autos, autos, autos. At that point, they have to run or fight. Once there is a source of pressure, that's generally when it's best to use an ability. We're gonna max E first. We have we bought a control word. We're keeping an eye on our minions HP. That was a raw E and surely we missed it. Uh, this is a weird gank. She just soaked a lot of our XP. That's gonna throw off our level six quite a bit. Thresh is roaming mid now. We're going to keep autos on her. We have minion advantage. So even if she tries to turn on us here, it's not going to end well. She's going to go for a cannon. Got the snare on Kane. Auto attack E. Lit him up with the E. Down he goes. I still have my barrier as well. Kane shouldn't be forcing ganks on someone who's ahead. He was going to have the gank earlier if he wanted to. But not after I get a kill. Got her with the auto e auto we still have our barrier up fresh can land something there barriers are for pretty short cooldown so we're not missing out too much we're gonna put the e in the middle of the wave to hit the whole thing launch an auto in midair activate the e to get that empowerment and we got pretty much that whole thing she's dead nice well played by the thresh I don't want to do this. Oh, I really don't want to fight that. I want to back and spend my gold. If you can build a lead on Lux in the early game, it's pretty much a guaranteed win. It's not guaranteed you will get a kill in lane phase. If they respect your damage more than Katarina has been doing, what will end up happening is you'll end up pushing them off the minions and you'll build up a very big CS lead. Like right now, for example, we have a huge CS lead because we've been pushing her off the minions and she's been dying. So she's been missing out on quite a bit. A huge mistake a lot of Lux players make is they don't weave in enough auto attacks, especially against melee champions like a Katarina, a Yona, or a Yasuo. Having the range advantage is the biggest advantage you have over a melee champion. Oftentimes, melee champions have higher base damages or scarier level sixes, so 
try to take advantage of those ranged autos you can poke them down which will put pressure on them to where they can no longer try to all in you and then you can end up zoning them off in minions without having to burn many resources oops missed that one we're gonna slow play this we're likely gonna get camped so we don't want to show up too far even though we've handled the ganks pretty well so far she's stepping up for the minion i should have left my e there reactivating it was a pretty big mistake yeah that's what it looks like if you don't have them slowed with your e landing rock cues is really inconsistent if they know you're there I'm going to pop a potion and get a ward down. She's playing very, very defensive right now. Got the whole wave, launched an auto in midair, activated my E. Missed my Q. I have minion advantage though, so she just took a really bad trade. I landed my e because she was kind of pinned up against the turret and the wall the e was free and then i immediately r your e is a slow it's going to be really hard for them to get out of the way of your r so remember keep autoing always keep autoing if you're not autoing you're missing out on at least a third of your damage by level six and pre-level six it's basically half your damage is your auto tax not even including your passive which your autos apply every single time you hit it with a spell you can burn that extra damage onto them We're missing a huge chunk of health. I'll go ahead and shove this wave and then we'll, uh, perfect. We hit the whole thing with it. Now, now that I say that, I feel bad because <laughs> we hit the whole thing, but it put them all at five HP. That was really unfortunate. Gonna look for the reset, max Q second. We can get our full Ludens. We'll grab, uh, I'll actually sell that and grab refill here. I really like refill on Lux. Refill feels really, really good on Lux. We're going to ping out the Katarina. She's going in for the roam. Not only are we pinging her location, but we're pinging where she's going. Just pinging your teammates doesn't give them enough information for them to act on what you're doing. Oftentimes, it just makes them resent you because they don't know what you're trying to say, and then the sound just irritates them. So try to be as clear and concise with your pings as possible. And your teammates won't mute you. Got her with the E. She's slowed right now. We're gonna get autos. Do you see how she's juking so much? I don't know if that hit her or not. If it did, I could definitely kill her. Okay, it apparently did hit her. She's looking to dash back to her dagger. I wait till I push her off of it. She flashes away, that's huge. If I were to E too early, she could have dashed back to me. So try to think about your spell timings and if you're using it too early. If they're still in range for you to use your ability, Oftentimes it's better to hold on to it because they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna do that and you can hit them for free because they're trying to dodge your Q. Thanks for the control word. Oh, I don't, it's making it hard to get it. Jeez, this guy is being such a cornball. Down he goes. EQR, they absolutely explode, and your R applies your passive as well. Auto in midair, apply that. Your autos have really long float time on Lux, kind of similar to a Jana, so it makes it really easy to ability and auto before your ability even technically lands. Oh, I don't know why Diana's trying to take these. That shield was a little bit too preemptive. Could throw out some raw abilities here. There's no need. We hit the whole wave and Diana just steals it. That's bizarre. Shouldn't be doing that. I'll wait till Katarina goes in here. I'll throw out an E, block off her exit. She should be ju- yeah, she's juking like crazy. Oh, almost had it. If that plant wasn't there, I think I had it. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to flash. I'm way too fed to be dying here. I'm going to leave my E down. Then I was going to pop it. Ideally, with Lux E, 
you want them to be in it for as long as possible while you still reactivating it for the damage because every moment millisecond it's down it's slowing them so if they're already in deep in the middle of it there's no need to reactivate it immediately because you're still getting value from its perma slow there's a few times where i made that mistake of reactivating it too soon when i could have taken more advantage of its con consistent applying slow All right, we're gonna pull off. We need boots really badly. At this point in the game, if once you have enemy's turret, you don't really need to be mid unless it's to defend your own turret. We definitely need tier two boots. We'll grab Sork Shoes into Horizon Focus. If you guys have played a lot of Soraka and you're playing her properly, playing Lux is very, 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 very similar. Soraka plays a lot on auto attack pressure and then when they react to fight back or they start to run, or they start to engage. So basically your auto attacks forces a reaction. Once they react, you can then comfortably land your skill shot. Soraka is the same exact way. Soraka is generally supposed to lead in with autos into Q. Lux leads in autos into abilities. So I hold on to my ability. Now she's made her path clear. She doesn't even have tier two boots. So I'm gonna hold on to my Q here. She's dead. If you're faster than somebody or if you have them cut off, don't throw out your abilities too soon because they're gonna try to juke it. So while they're juking instead, you get closer, which makes it easier to land the ability. And it lets you auto them more, which is damage. <laughs> which is damage, yeah. <laughs> uh, boom. I could R this potentially. Down he goes. Lux wave clear so good with E max first. You should never max Q first. It only gets damage per level. Your E gets on a lower cooldown and a higher movement speed slow and more damage. It gets way more. She, when she goes in for the cannon, that's the pressure we need to kill her. Wait, she, oh, she still got it. Wow, I misread the turret damage there throughout my abilities really early. All right, yeah, we, we should be roaming at this point. We can play around blind vision and land stuff bye bye she really wanted that control word i knew she was gonna peel off as fast as she could so i threw my snare out a little bit wider auto attack bada boom into the queue he was already slowed from my e so it made it really easy to land down he goes i guess i'll just go shove mid real quick it'll force katarina to go back mid and then i can look to roam we're gonna center it hit the whole wave auto attack before we technically reactivate our E and then once our auto's in midair, that's when we reactivate our E to keep the timing nice and tight so minions don't out CS us. We've gotten a decent amount of CS. We've been ganked a couple of times. And um, yeah, our CS is decent. 120, 14 minute mark. We don't have TP. This is probably awarded, yep. Get down my E, I have to activate it immediately because she was gonna step outside of it. I'll go ahead and shove this wave. This MF's being super aggro. She's going to get herself killed here. Kata doesn't have tier 2 boots. Always be looking at items before fights. No tier 2s, no full item. I can run her down. I should be faster with tier 2s. That Nico ward was spicy. I could have queued her over the wall there, potentially. Jeez, MF lines herself up on the wall. I wasn't, if I was a little bit farther here, she wouldn't have been able to juke it. I was slightly out of position on that R. I needed to take a few steps farther down and she still would have been pincered on the turret in the wall. Got it. I threw E slightly behind her and Q slightly in front of her. So even if she juked four, she's going to get erased. Kata flashed. I'm trying to get autos in. Doesn't seem like it's enough. I barriered myself and W'd. Just gonna drop E down, pinch it. W is such a good ability. You can just shield your whole team. Kind of insane. Thanks for that, Diana. That's for stealing my CS earlier. Ooh.
we're gonna get on going to our second item here if the enemy team has a lot of all-in pressure something like a Z or a Vigar, you can consider going hourglass second item they really don't though plus horizon focus gives a little bit of hp super super valuable item on lux 85 ap super high 150 health 15 ability haste damaging a champion with a non-targeted ability so a skill shot at over 700 range, which is basically a Caitlyn auto, Caitlyn 650 range, or slowing or mobilizing them, so with my snare or my root, or just hitting them tip, tipper. Makes them take 10% more damage for uh, six seconds from me. That's decent. Jesus, Diana. I might, I might start taking her camps from her. She just keeps running up, trying to take every wave from me. It's bizarre. Kata has tier two boots this time. I'll just toss out shield. Missed my E. Oh well. Oof. Rest in peace, Yasuo. I needed to leave that E there in hindsight. Oh, you're gone. Thank you very much. Man, Lux feels really, really good. Versus non-all-in style matchups. You can't play Lux into Fizz. You have to ban it. Zerath's also really challenging because he outranges you. Lux and Zerath are by far her worst matchups. Her best matchups is anything she outranges and anything that can't particularly force a uh, all-in pre-6. As long as she gets to blow them pre-6, she's pretty much set. Thresh is bottling by himself. I guess him and Yasuo aren't getting along. I'll shove wave with him. You never want to be by yourself or way out of position like what Diane is doing on Lux. Lux has zero mobility in her kit, not a single speed up. So when you're out of position, you're generally going to die. I think Thresh is trying to use the support item. We need a ward right there. Nice, he's going for it. I like that. Lux plays really well when the enemies don't know where you are. Or when you throw your skill shots over walls because they have less time to react to it. Oh, like that. If that snare would have land, QER, she would have been a goner. Oh, R would actually kill her right there because my passive application. That's actually Nico. Bye bye. <laughs> That's a double. <laughs> this is why you need good wards on Lux, it's so valuable. Still have my uh, W up. You honestly don't use your W that much on Lux when you're ahead. It's just you don't really need to usually. It's a very defensive ability. When you're this far ahead, it's hard for them to get to you. Ooh, Kata. I don't think this series warded. Ooh, no Kata. I was trying to predict Juke. That's what it oftentimes looks like throwing out tipper range, raw skill shots when you, there's zero forms of pressure on the enemies. Got the raw E over the wall. She didn't see that one coming. You need some form of pressure to land skill shots. Otherwise, it's just luck. Just like that. I guess there was kind of some pressure. I was in the bush. She may not have realized that. Plus, she had less time to react to my skill shots. Still. My E couldn't quite reach that. I need to get my W in there. I got Riven with both sides of my shield. Just couldn't get to the Diana in time. We're even going in ham and cheese. This game's wrapped up. There's no way they get, these guys can come back. We are, we are way too big for that. We're, we'll literally have to throw a shot down gold. Got the snare E. Drop the W. Down they go. Just need a, a snare on her and she's dead. We'll leave that here for a second. Let the whole wave walk into it. Lux E is such a short cooldown. It, it, it keeps going on cooldown when you let it sit there and marinate. It plays to your advantage. We can chill right here. Oh, that's really sad. We landed the snare and the E, but we missed the R. That is a tragedy. Wow. Pro tip, if you want to win more games on Lux, buy some of her skins. There's several Lux skins that are illegal to use in pro play because they're pay to win. You can't see the skill shots. Still Legion Lux is one of them, and I forget the other one. But I know for a fact Still Legion Lux is 
b -b -b banned in pro play. <laughs> oh man, that's that makes me really sad. That because uh, I, I love League of Legends. I've been playing this game for so long. It makes me really sad that they have skins that are they're such an they're advantageous enough to be banned in pro play, but everyone else is allowed to use them. It's a big reason why I think there should be an option to turn off skins from your perspective. I don't think there's anything wrong with people having a skin and uh, for their own benefit. But as the opponent, you may not want to see a million different skins and have to realize what champion that is or isn't on the fly with, with the, like a blink of an eye type situation. So I don't think they'll ever implement it though. I think skin cells would drop a bit. If you were able to turn them off like that. I could R for this. I'm not gonna though. There's already pressure on them. And that pressure was likely to kill them. So there's no reason for me to R. Might as well just hold on to it. Someone's trying to surrender. I'm gonna vote no. Rock Q. Bad idea. I know. Nice thresh hook. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Sometimes raw skill shots land. You get lucky. We just need one QE on this guy. We'll go EQ. Oof, nice juke on his part. I could get a multi-kill here. Oh! Oh, man. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Lux mid lane commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingstix. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage ultimate champions, we had a nice little lead. Looking at damage taken, we are definitely on the low side. For our runes, Arcane Comet did a whopping 1,479 damage. Mana flow restored 157 mana and increased our pool by 250. Transcendence refunded 27 seconds. Scorch did nearly 400 damage and Presence of Mind gave us back 4,666 mana. Now you guys see why you gotta take this rune. And Kudu Gross did 668 damage, pretty solid. Lux mid lane, awesome pick. Make sure you ban Fizz and you dodge Zerath.